Well, if there is any trouble for the Colts getting to sleep, it's only because they're getting itchy. Super Bowl itchy. Lydell Mitchell, a big part of it, too. Short stuff here. Coming up that beautiful Burt bomb as the Colts rip New York 33-12. Mitchell surpassing the club yardage record held by Lenny Moore. Mitchell says he never dreamed of doing it at the time he joined this club back in 72, but he talked with me after the game. Now that he's got his own personal yardage mark on this club, up to 5,202 yards. Well, <laughs> I tell you, he's been my biggest fan over the years. So when I first got here, of course, I knew Lenny when I was in college. I had the opportunity to meet him. And, you know, he called me up and everything, and he was more excited than I was. He couldn't wait till I broke him. He's sitting on the sidelines, more nervous than I was. I was nervous. I, I played a lot of big games, but I've never been that nervous before. And I just couldn't wait till it uh, happened. You know, I fumbled the ball, and I missed the pass in the beginning. And usually it's things that I don't do. It's because, I, you know, it's just the anxiety of breaking the record and everything. And I'm just glad that it's all over. Uh, you know, you, you play against teams like the Jets, and they're not winning during the season. And... They're intent on not letting you break a record against them. And it was kind of like that in the beginning. And, um, you know, it just worked out for the best. We won the game, fortunately, and that's the main important thing, and I broke the record. We Cold back uh, Lydell Mitchell, and again, our congratulations to him. Sadly, though, former Cold quarterback Marty Domry is another disastrous, embarrassing shutout to Seattle last week. He started here yesterday, and again, he fizzled. Marty came in figuring he still could prove himself a number one quarterback for someone, but he went zero for the first five tries, humiliated, frustrated before the old Colt crowd. According to a very close and articulate friend of both mine and Marty Domrys, a friend who had access to Domrys as they left the field together, the friend being a photographer, Marty reportedly told him that this was it, too much to bear. He was, in fact, going to hang them up. Marty himself unavailable for comment after this game, so I got this reaction from the Colt locker room. Well, I, I kind of feel, <clears throat> I feel bad. You know, I always felt had, was close to Marty when he was here. He was a hell of a guy. Uh, he was, you know, you, you know, always funny, joking, and always tried. He always gave 100%. I thought Marty did whatever he was called to do, and he helped, you know, helped everybody he could help out. And I hate to see Marty uh, go out, you know, uh, not being successful. I really felt myself wanting him to be successful. As far as I'm concerned, Marty is one of the class individuals that I've met since I've been in the league, and it's, it's just a, a sad situation to see him uh, having the problems that he's got, but um, it's rough. It's a, it's a, it's a rough life, and uh, you got to deal while you can and uh, keep it all in perspective, and Ma I'm sure Marty will make the right decision on, as far as his future is concerned. That was Colt uh, Glenn Dowdy there, and ahead of him, uh, Raymond Chester, both of them, uh, on the probability of uh, Marty Domrys, in fact, uh, hanging it up at this juncture of a career, either yesterday possibly being his last game, if, if he's really feeling down about it, but this definitely being his last year or so it would indicate. Uh, the Colts uh, joined Denver as the club's only once beaten today. The Cowboys lost in Pittsburgh yesterday, 28 to 13. And I think the Colts are loose, ready. I know they're thinking explosiveness as we head to Denver this week and then on to Miami next.